Beloved brothers and sisters, I greet you all in the precious and matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is a good God. He loves you so much and he is going to do great things for you. Bible gives many names to our God and one of his names is Deliverer. Jesus is the Deliverer. Father God sent his son into this world to deliver his children from the hands of devil and to give them a blessed life. I want to read a verse from the book of John, chapter 8, verse 36. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. This month will be a month of deliverance. You will enjoy God's freedom in your life and in every area of your life. Isaiah, the great prophet, has written many things about the ministry of Messiah. One of the chapters in that prophetic book clearly tells us about the deliverance ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to read a verse from that chapter. It is Isaiah 61 and verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. This is a very special promise which tells us about the deliverance ministry of Jesus Christ. There are three types of deliverance God wants to give to his children. The number one is he wants to heal the brokenhearted. That means freedom from brokenness. Every individual in the world is broken. Every family is broken. Everywhere we could see brokenness only. There is no love, no joy, no peace in this world. The whole world is broken because of the devil who never likes God's children to be happy. Life is full of wounds, worries and brokenness. And hearts are filled with anxiety, agony and brokenness. But our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, He came into this world to heal the brokenhearted. How about your heart? Is your heart broken? Are you crying every day? Do you have deep wounds in your heart? Do you have hurts in your heart? Jesus says, I want to heal your heart which is broken. I want to heal your brokenness. I want to heal your family which is broken. I want to heal your business, your ministry which is broken. This month, God is going to heal you. There will be inner healing. There will be healing in your heart, in your mind, in your inner being. And you will enjoy God's presence and his love more and more in this month. Just believe he will heal your heart which is broken. As I share this message, I want you to keep your right hand over your heart and do this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, Lord, I need your healing. Touch my heart. Heal my wounds by your stripes, O God. Give me your joy, peace and rest so that, Lord, I can live a life of freedom in Jesus' name. Beloved brothers and sisters, you will enjoy the healing power of Jesus this month and you will enjoy God's peace, joy and hope in your heart. The second blessing hidden in this promise is freedom from captivity. There are many Bible portions which explain the captivity of God's children in Egypt and also in Babylon. When God's people lived in uh, Egypt, they were in captivity. When people live in captivity, they will have some freedom. They can go here and there. They can do some work. They can work. They can earn money for themselves. But there will be slavery. They have to live like slaves. The people of Israel, they lived like slaves in Egypt. God called Moses and he delivered his people from Egypt and he gave them a promised land. If God delivers you, then definitely he will give you an added blessing. That is a promised blessing. You will enjoy God's blessings after your deliverance. I'm going to share that also with you. I want to read two verses which explain about the slavery of God's children in Egypt. Let's turn to the book of Exodus chapter 2 verses 23 and 24. Then the children of Israel groaned because of the bondage and they cried out and their cry came up to God because of the bondage. 
So God heard their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac and with Jacob. See, the people were groaning, the people were mourning, the people were crying. They were crying unto God for their deliverance. Did God deliver them? Yes. He sent Moses and he delivered his children with his mighty hand and he led them in the wilderness and he gave them the promised land. People of God, they enjoyed the promised blessing. The same God will give you the same deliverance. You will be delivered from your slavery. I don't know in which captivity you are suffering. Maybe you are suffering from some sickness, poverty or any other problem. God will surely deliver you from your captivity. The third blessing hidden in this promise verse is freedom from bondage. If a man is in captivity, he will have some freedom. But if he is in bondage, he will have no freedom. Even some of you are living in that situation. You have no freedom at all. You cannot do whatever you want to do. You cannot have whatever you wish to have. Is that your situation? God says, I will deliver you from your bondage. I will release you from your bondage. If the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. That is the verse you have to believe. Jesus will deliver you from your bondage. When we read in the book of Daniel about the life history of the three Jewish young boys, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, really it teaches us a lesson. They took a stand for the Lord. They didn't obey the king's voice. So the king decided to put them in the burning, fiery furnace. And he asked his mighty men of valor to bind them up. And they cast them into the burning furnace. What happened? They saw four persons walking freely inside the burning furnace. That was the blessing given to those young boys who took a stand for God. Sometimes you are suffering for your faith in Jesus. Sometimes people are accusing you for your faith in God, in the living God. Cheer up, my dear brother and sister. The same God who delivered those three Jewish boys will definitely deliver you. He will give you freedom. This is the chapter you have to read every day in this month. And you have to claim all the promises hidden in it. I just want to read two verses from this chapter. Isaiah 61 verse 3, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified, and they shall rebuild the old ruins, and they shall rise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the ruined cities, the desolations of many generations. These are all the blessings God has in reserve to give it to you. So claim it with faith. This month is a month of deliverance. Verse 7 says, Instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. And instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. The everlasting joy shall be theirs. After God heals your heart, you will have everlasting joy. You will have double portion. You will have peace that passeth all understanding. You will have oil of gladness. God will fill you with the spirit of praise. Just claim it and enjoy these blessings. Shall I pray for you? Heavenly Father, you are a mighty God. You are an awesome God. You are a loving God. So Lord, I fall at your feet and I say thank you for your loving kindness. And Lord, thank you for the greatest gift you have sent to mankind. Jesus, our Savior. Lord Jesus, I ask you to deliver your people who are all praying with me, Lord. Lord, I ask you to stretch forth your hand and release their chains, O oh Father. Lord, release them from their captivity. Release them from their bondage, O oh God. I don't know anything about their captivity. I don't know anything about their bondage. But Lord, you know everything. So Lord, I ask you to send your power now. Send your power now into their hearts, into their mind, into 
into their body into their family into their business into their ministry and into every area of their life oh god let them be completely delivered let them be completely released let them enjoy the freedom that you have promised them oh god let this month be a month of receiving freedom and enjoying freedom and living in the freedom you have given them oh god thank you lord for answering my prayers thank you lord for blessing your children let this month be a month of receiving freedom and enjoying freedom and living in the freedom you have given them oh god in jesus name i pray amen amen beloved brothers and sisters i hope you will enjoy god's freedom if you are blessed with this message may i kindly request you to share this message with your friends and relatives if you are interested you can join your hands with us for the expansion of god's kingdom through this ministry you can support us through your prayers and through your contribution may god bless you